Elon Musk is facing new difficulties after his takeover of Twitter. ABC News has obtained exclusive audio of the world's richest man telling employees they cannot remain at the company unless they return to the office full time, which some employees say is a violation of their contracts. Basically, if you, not, if you can show up at an office and you do not show up at the office, resignation accepted. End of story. Meanwhile, setbacks are mounting on the social media platform itself after Musk implemented a new policy allowing accounts to pay for verification, leading pranksters to impersonate public figures and brands like this account, masquerading as the Eli Lilly company, claiming that insulin is now free. And this Pepsi imposter declaring Coke as the superior, superior soda. ABC News senior reporter Emmanuel Saliba joins me now for more. Good to see you, friend. So there's been a back and forth on this verification question. What exactly is the policy now and how do we get here? Yeah, let me try and keep this simple. So the biggest change that happened this week was that Elon Musk made blue checks available for purchase. So anyone who had a Twitter account was able to pay $8 a month to get a blue check. Now, it happens that today it seems that that is on pause, but all of these verifications are still exist on the platform. So the biggest difference between the two is that the blue check mark used to be available, as you mentioned, for government officials, journalists, public figures, and it required a certain level of identity verification, meaning you had to prove that you are who you say you are. But now anyone has the ability to purchase this check mark, and there's no verification going into who they are. Okay. Um, we're going to point out that Jesus is verified there. Uh, so, yes. okay, you all, as journalists, we use Twitter, as you know, all the time to get statements from elected officials and even to get information from emergency workers about things like active shooter alerts and natural disasters. How dangerous is it to potentially have people pose as public figures like this? Right. Well, that's it. I mean, exactly. Like we just saw, there are some pretty funny impersonations, right? But where it gets serious and where there are real consequences is when people start to impersonate government officials, public figures during natural disasters or elections. Both both events are ongoing right now in this country. And it becomes, it becomes extremely difficult for users, for everyday users of the platform, to figure out who to believe, who to trust. Um, and that's the biggest consequences that, that this new verification rollout is having right now. So help our viewers slash Twitter users out here. What should they be looking out for to know what's real and what's not? Okay, so there are a few different ways that you can go about this, but you should really check um, to see whether or not the handle, for example, matches the username. Uh, here are two examples up on your screen, and this one's really challenging, so take a moment at home to see if you can figure out which one is the real Apple TV verified account. Mm, okay, I'll think, be, yeah, go ahead. I think it's the one that says the real account under it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, it does say that, but nice try. Okay, <laughs> so but I'm like, like, tell how... everyone to imagine that the real and the fake account is not there because <laughs> I was looking before I saw that and I couldn't tell the difference. It's so difficult, right? Well, it's the, the, the dev devil is in the detail. Um, the plus, the L is actually an I that's capitalized. And oh. that's how they were able to fool people online. But if you look closer, so another tip that people can use at home is look at the number of followers in that fake account. It's very low. So real account of a real brand or a government official um, or an emergency service would have a larger amount of followers. So that's kind of a quick way. But obviously, you have to have the time at home to go, to click, to spend the time to do that, to double check um, that you're in fact following a, a, a trusted source. Wow, okay. Well, another big question today is will Twitter even survive because Musk apparently admitted that it's possible Twitter could go bankrupt. What's next? Anyone? Uh, honestly, it's anyone's guess at this point, but What's important is that the verification, this verification rollout was supposed to do two things, according to Musk. It was supposed to bring in revenue, and it was also supposed to limit spam and bots, and it's done the contrary. So it's really, we're going to see it's changing, the policy is changing day to day, hour to hour, and we'll keep you updated on, on a, as much as we know. Um, yeah, but you want me to follow you on Twitter? I don't even know if it's really you or not, Emmanuel. <laughs> Is it you? <laughs> it is me. But now, yeah, it is me. <laughs> okay. It's me as well. At Kenneth Moten for me. And my blue check is still there. We'll see if I have it by 
next week. All right, Emmanuel Saliba, thank you so much for helping us thank you. get through all of that. All right. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.